You have about two minutes to finish cutting out your second shape. So much of the tech innovation that this country is built on has come from people with ideas, tinkering and making. Kids are having a blast with this. Digital Harbor Foundation is a youth maker space where kids from all over the city come to use technology and to make technology. You're going to see kids working with everything from cardboard and duct tape. They are soldering. What they like the most is the 3D printer. How long did this take to print, do you know? It's about like take, take two hours. We love being a space where we can ask them, what do you want to do? Today we're finishing up one project which uses a Gemma, which is like a little square circuit board. I programmed it so it looks like Batman seeing ghosts. Very cool stuff, I think. <laughs> and for the students, it's really purposeful and meaningful because they are making things that they've dreamed up. old piano that I turned into a digital jukebox. Sierra is a young lady that got involved about two years ago in our program. We're always playing music in our space, but everyone didn't really know whose playlist to play or who was going to pick the music. So it combined two problems, one solution. She saw technology as a, as a tool for interaction. When the key touches the block of aluminum foil, which then sends a signal to the Makey Mankey, which will send that number to the Raspberry Pi and pull a song from the Spotify playlist. I've taken it to the White House. Uh, that was not an easy trip. And the skills that are most important from our perspective are things like grit and determination and knowing how to learn. Uh, so when you learn how to learn in an ever-changing tech landscape, you'll be well equipped to learn the next thing. The arm is the Y, and then this is the X. We had a 3D printer kit that was all in pieces, and we said, Darius, do you want to build a 3D printer? About two years ago, I didn't know what 3D printing was. Hey, I'm going to give it a try, and I stuck to it, and I made it. For eight weeks, every single day, he came after school and would build and build. This circuit board is hidden, but it's a USB right here. The day that it printed was, was sort of this, like, I did it. You know, I think that moment for him was transformational. I built a white version for the White House. Uh, from that point to now building half a dozen 3D printers to teaching, the thing that he does the most is is now help other youth here in the space. Try to get the other side. Okay. Jeff. For the youth that come to this space, we want to see their passion for learning grow. I can't even begin to tell you how many opportunities it's given me. It's, it's completely shaped who I am and my love of technology. This is something that should uh, and could exist elsewhere in Baltimore City, around the country. We would love to see other rec centers become tech centers. The tech economy here in Baltimore desperately needs this talent. And that's what we're working on here is, is helping to create a different way uh, of leading tech education.